Let me tell you one thing. Kendall, you've been a rude person for years, man. You're an asshole when you feel like it. You get riled up for no reason. You... No, 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 no. I'm about to tell you the truth about how you are. You don't apologize for nothing. You get into one thing, now you got something to run and harp on, then you tripping. I don't trip, though. Kiss my ass? I, I don't need nobody kissing my ass. What the hell are you talking about? Why you keep saying I kicked you out of your car? First of all, how do I kick you out of... I was just trying to make sure you were straight, man. That was it. You don't even know what you're talking about. I'm already pretty frustrated with the whole situation and hurt and offended. Corey, he's just not right in this situation and I'd rather him just admit it, say sorry and man up. Okay, but the attitude. I'm not, I'm not a diva. I'm not, I'm not a diva. I'm not, I'm not a diva. I'm not, I'm not. Just have really changed my daughter's life. Thank you for helping me make her dream come true. We're here tonight just to, to support you and say thanks. Well, she kind of stole the show, but I just. Good night, guys. Have a good night. Why are you following me everywhere? That's like my my time to like get away from home. I'm dead serious. Do you understand? That's so weird to me. I'm dead serious. That's so annoying. Those are cute jeans. Your cute jeans. Those are mine? No. Oh, I thought you said your cute jeans. I did. Those are my jeans? No. Then why you did you are say cute jeans? Huh? Why every time I could say like, oh my God, my nail broke, and you'd say, have you eaten today? This is crazy. I have to make a phone call, I'll be right back. Okay. So many false narratives about me. Like, so many people think they have you figured out. What are some of the misconceptions that you've heard about yourself? Oh my God. Uh, so many things. I think the one that I guess hurts the most is that people think I'm a mean girl because that's just not the case. It can be upsetting when someone is questioning your character. What is up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Hi, it's Keisha. I'm your host of today's video. Nice to meet you. Get in here because we have a lot of things to talk about. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Miss Kendall Jenner. We're going to be talking about why she truly is very unlikable. This is my humble opinion. This is how I feel. I've tried to get into her Guyana. I've tried to be a fan of Kendall. Well, not a fan, but I've tried to find her somewhat likable, but I've struggled over the years and I've finally concluded these are the reasons as to why I find it's extremely hard to like Kendall and her character and her personality personality at least from what is portrayed on social media now the thing about kendall and her sisters is they are on a reality show and they are allowed to you know tweak things and see the edits before it all premieres for us you know globally so with that being said bitch Ugh. You can't necessarily be mad if someone's calling you a mean girl. I remember in the latest episode of the show, Kendall was saying that the public's perception of her is absolutely false. People love to call her the mean girl, she said, and she said that she's the complete opposite. And it's like, okay, cool, great. You might, you might believe that, but do you actually believe it though? And we could be wrong. Also, before we get started, I don't want to hear people say, oh, you know, people think that Kendall Jenner is a mean girl because of her star sign, huh? Let me get this clear. So Kendall Jenner is allowed to be a mean girl because of her star sign, whatever the hell it is. I remember I touched upon this very briefly a year ago and a, a few people in my comment section, and I thought I was losing it. I thought, I was thinking, listen, is astrology taking over? Like I'm here for a little bit of, you know, Gemini's are this, Aries are this, stay away from Scorpio. <laughs> I didn't think we were all actually being serious about this. Like I didn't think people would take it to the extremes that I feel they've taken it to. That's very interesting. Let me know your thoughts and opinions though down below in the comment section. Also, I have my mirror in front of me, hence why I'm looking in this direction. Um, but yeah, if I've been honest with you guys, and I mean fully transparent with you lots, I feel like a bum today. Like I, I feel so ugly today. Um, like, I don't know what it is. I feel like my skin just isn't doing what I want it to do. Like I used to have a good skin care. I used to like look after my skin and I just feel like I've neglected it since Colviana, since lockdown to be honest. Um, you can't really see it now because but look if I look down you guys can see my hyperpigmentation to the fullest and I just hate it like 
I don't like talking about insecurities and stuff, but I feel like within the last two years, my skin has been a major insecurity. And I feel like me being a black woman and just scarring, we scar so quickly. I feel like people of color in general just scar so brazy. And it's like, bitch, I ain't got time for it. Like, I don't even be waking up on time to start my days. What makes you think I have time to be doing skincare day in, day out? Like, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a lazy ass bitch. What is it, Kim Kardashian said? Get your ass up and work. <laughs> But yeah, like over here, I have a pimple over here breakout and it's, it's just reoccurring. Like it hasn't stopped for the last two years. And I know it's probably down to diet and me just eating a bunch of snacks and just like not taking care of myself. But I just, I don't know, like I really have to be ready to quit that. I really have to. And I just, I, I say that I'm ready, but then I just go back to eating junk food and stuff. But honestly, my skin has just not been loving me um so if you guys know anything specifically black people though like if you guys can put me onto a product that truly changed the game for you let me know i'm kind of just like really low-key sad right now looking at myself in the mirror and this never used to be the way and of course i have my days where it fluctuates like i'm good and then the next day i'm like oh i just hate this but anyways we're gonna be covering up this face today people have it worse than me i hate when people say that like yeah bro people have it worse than me duh like, I'm not trying to make it seem like my issue is the biggest issue, but sometimes in this moment, it feels like the biggest issue in the world. So just let me rant or just keep it pushing. It's as simple as that. Make sure you guys go and connect with me and follow me on my Instagram. It's Keisha underscore. I do follow people back. I love engaging with you guys in my DMs. Like, I love you guys just like, I don't know, you guys are just so sweet when you guys are not sending me pictures and videos of your body parts because babes who needs to see that absolutely not me i told you guys that you guys can feel free to share with me anything and people literally took that literal and decided to share me share with me a picture of their literal and i'm like whoa you just thought you know keisha would appreciate this i didn't i have a whole ass ooh, let me not share no thank you it's not a bit of i just please subscribe if you haven't already if you don't subscribe i feel like you're a greedy pig the bullying it really is the bullying for me i know a bully when i see and hear from one because i went to an all-girl secondary school and yeah i say that all the time but bitch it's very important that you know because it really did change my perception of people you know going to an all-girl secondary school a catholic school the catholic really doesn't do much <laughs> me going to an all-girl secondary school you know it, it really isn't for the week uh i the things that i witnessed in, in an all-girl secondary school was absolutely mad it's you know fights every single friday every other day also i'm using the got to be also i'm gonna do my makeup why didn't i say that i'm gonna be covering up this mess that didn't used to be a mess type face so this is the got to be eyebrow it doesn't say that but i'm just assuming it's that got to be uh four brows and edges glued i uh, flip you uh, english not my language <laughs> this is the anyways listen you're not here to know what i'm using but this is for my eyebrows also people were asking me the other day keisha bitch you went from having no eyebrows to just having eyebrows what's the secret girl it's microblading i'll be honest with you guys i absolutely didn't absolutely did i absolutely hated the way my eyebrows didn't work with me but i've invested in microblading i went to this lady called roxy she doesn't live too far from me. I found her from Instagram. And bada bing, bada boom, she changed my appearance in life because eyebrows really do form one's face. And I felt like, bitch, I was so cute, but I need eyebrows. And I've been trying to grow them out. But castor oil isn't even castor in my eyebrows. Like, who are we kidding? Oh my God, you're dumb. And all these serums that you can buy from Amazon, baby, I've been spending money for no goddamn reason. I'm gonna let that set for a bit. Um, today's a look. I really don't have anything particularly in mind. I do want to play around with some eyeshadows. I know if you guys are, if you guys are consistent watchers of mine, you guys are probably going to be thinking, Keisha, you do the same look every single time, but you don't miss, period. Because one thing about me, I'm going to play it safe till the end. Why am I going to confuse stuff? Am I going to use this palette? Let me use this palette. I don't know what it is with me buying palettes of problematic people. I can't tell you what Jacqueline Hills has done, but I know Jacqueline Hill has done something. The name just is ringing a bell. Ding, 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 ding. Is she racist? Pedophilia? broken palettes like i really can't guess at this point but yeah we're gonna be using jacqueline hill's palette don't ask me why i got it i think it probably was on sale and i you know I me mean? a cheeky sell doesn't matter how much my income is bitch we go into that sale so this is the palette it has a bunch of nudity just like my dms i would rather i would rather go blind so we're just gonna have fun let's talk about a few things kendall has said as of lately on the show so on the latest episodes of the kardashians which is on disney plus and hulu kendall has expressed how annoyed she is that the public has this perception that she is the bully the mean girl she said that she's the complete opposite but she's aware of the fact that this narrative probably isn't going to change anytime soon because you know with social media we make up our minds about people and we kind of just like stick with that and she's absolutely right about that but my thing is i can't stand somebody who plays victim whilst i'm spitting facts in this video don't take me too seriously 
like i don't want you guys to think this is a hate video because i've watched hate videos of different celebrities and i know a hateful video and a bitter bitch when i see it so that's not what today's intention is again because i really want to like kendall i think that she's that bitch period i think her legs her legs were made for walking girl has got legs for days she looks good outfits a lot of the times are on fleek other times it's just a cashmere jumper and some plain ass leggings you could also probably find from you know primark but you know what i live i live i'm mixing the born to glow by nyx with the nars foundation lord knows if any of these are my colors i just buy anything that looks black on the website i'll be very real with you you know shade matching who i don't be going out to <laughs> anyways especially not the mac stores my goodness the mac workers <laughs> i just feel like kendall plays victim like how are you going to make it seem like the public just label you to be a bully like yeah there are people who exist on the internet who just like labeling people without actually you know watching their clips and just looking at someone and thinking hmm she looks like a very pretty girl so she's automatically a bully it's like i get people do that but when it comes to kendall girl when what we're not going to do is act like a lot of the moments that existed on the show from you didn't exist for one kylie your own flesh and blood kylie said that if she wasn't kendall's sister then she's not sure whether they would even be friends that says something maybe it's because they have a difference in personality but i also feel like it's because kendall's very sarcastic and monotone and just like i don't know she just strikes me as somebody who says something that she generally means but then she will play it up by saying but it was just a joke don't take it too seriously you know and that's somebody that i'm scared of i've come across a few kendall's and it's like why are you trying to put other people down and it isn't always to uplift yourself sometimes it just feels like she's putting other people down period there's an episode a few episodes maybe that dedicated to kylie's insecurities you know once upon a time it was her lips and how she wanted to change it and stuff and then you know the other sisters are cheering her on and trying to get to know why she feels insecure and stuff like they don't know <laughs> like they don't know I'm not saying that if you have small lips you should automatically feel insecure but come on the sisters they probably had this conversation prior to cameras being in the room just saying i'm using the nas creamy radiant i don't know which the nas radiant creamy concealer in the shade amande my thing is kendall strikes me as absolutely bitter because it's like babes where did you come from first and foremost like why are you just in the corner saying that they look mad you you basically saying that kylie's lips look mad and it's like whether it's true or not it looks like kylie just needs support in this moment of this major decision now this brings me to my next point kendall criticizing the hell out of kylie but it's like girl you tried to overline your lips years later and it looks an absolute mess so do we get to call it out and the thing is if in some of these clips kylie looks like she could firm it she could take the comment then i wouldn't really be seeing it as like a moment or something disrespectful or mean is it a little bit shady yeah but if kylie would laugh at it then great but there are plenty of clips where kylie just seems uncomfortable by kendall's comments kylie had this reality show i think it lasted like one season if i'm not mistaken it was called life of kylie and that was a time where she was best friends with jordan woods right and jordan woods herself said you know when i was first friends with kylie i was very scared of kendall i was scared of kendall for like the first two years i was friends with kylie because they did not get along it's have my favorite tint. The bronzer is really thick, but you have really big body pores. Does that make sense? Wait, but, but I don't <laughs> Well, things that i've seen of kendall just haven't been great and like her allegedly being disrespectful to waiters and just her using her privilege to get what she wants it's like there's nothing new she's a nepotism baby she's somebody who has grown up with privileges and money and somebody who's not had to struggle a day in her life no matter how much she tries to convince you now of course kendall has her own struggles like she's very open about anxiety and stuff now i don't mind somebody you know talking about anxiety a lot i think it's very helpful i think in many more ways than a lot of us realize a lot of us really do have anxiety and i'm not talking about feeling anxious one day but i'm talking about like medically proven that you generally do have anxiety i think a lot of people actually you know find it hard to deal with it okay and i do think kendall does suffer with anxiety i'm not here to try and take, diminish her struggles and make it seem any less but i do feel like sometimes whenever she's been disrespectful I feel like it's very easy for her to pull the anxiety mental health card because it's the most relatable and she knows it's going to be an audience who are going to agree with her and be like oh my god yeah she's so open and vulnerable when it comes to anxiety oh my god i really wish i could be like do you know what i mean i feel like she's very calculated in that sense and i think people don't equate kendall with being calculated because you feel like her sisters do it a lot more than her so here comes my conspiracy theory. Kendall at one moment in life resented her family for how famous they were and how much attraction had been built around them. Kendall couldn't be a normal kid anymore, especially when she'd constantly have a filming crew at her house. Whilst I do believe Kendall has portrayed mean girl tendencies, in a few of the shady Kendall Jenner montages that I've seen online, 
she was literally a kid in some of them and was going through puberty so i'll give her that because i know exactly what it was like for me you start to feel intense and complex you know moments and emotions i'll be lying if i said that i didn't act out as a teenager because i definitely did and at the moment it felt like the right thing to do but looking at it now in my 20s i'm just like girl you could have gone without disrespecting your mom you could have gone without just being angry at the world i do feel like kendall has reasons to be angry while she does have privileges not everybody wants to be famous not everybody likes the idea of being famous like her older sister something i find absolutely frustrating about kendall is her just utilizing the fact that she's not like the other girls aka sisters and like who are you trying to fool you're no longer the only natural one you don't have to be blind to literally know that Kendall has gotten work done. Now, I came across this article, which I'm going to go ahead and read in just a second, because I find it very intriguing. Now, if I'm being honest with you, the only changes that I personally noticed were in her face. I felt like the most obvious thing that I noticed at first were her lips. And I was just thinking, look how the tables have turned, Miss Girl. <laughs> I feel like Kendall praises herself on the fact that she's not like her sisters, but it's like, babes, you very much are like your sisters now. You've gotten work done. Uh, I don't like how dishonest Kendall is. I mean, her sisters aren't really the honest when it comes to cosmetic work, but they have said that they've gotten certain things done, you know? Have they sat down and given you guys a huge list of what they've got? No. What, is that ever going to happen? Absolutely not. But, you know, more sisters have been a bit more open than the others. And with Kendall, I see why she's not being open because she is a supermodel. She's meant to be praised by everyone for being naturally pretty and for landing this job based on how naturally gorgeous she is right and kendall is a beautiful girl with work and no work there's just something to kendall's face lately i feel like she resembles that model emily ratakowski Ratten, the one that was in i hate these blood i'm sorry that's the only way i know her like she could be iconic and stuff maybe i ain't seen her anywhere else i'm sure she's just amazing i don't know bitch isn't she getting a divorce didn't her partner cheat or am I glitching? I don't know. Listen, I swear that I'm reading the blogs, but at the same time, am I really going with this Huda Beauty powder? And also, the latest thing that I've been doing is I bought this powder puff thing that everyone's been raving on about on TikTok. It truly has changed my game, like my makeup game. And then I just press it into my skin. And I don't know whether they go to the same surgeon, but it's really scary how like their face literally as of well as of lately kendall's face has been saying copy paste kendall jenner has long been the subject of plastic surgery rumors but has she gone under the knife i never thought she got any body work done but according to a bunch of you guys actually and this article they are kind of claiming that kendall has gotten her cha-chas done i don't know i don't be looking in that region do i did Kendall get a nose job? The long time Keeping Up The Kardashians viewers have questioned whether the reality star got a nose job. Even though Kendall has denied going under the knife, Dr. Alessi of the Alessi Institutives and the Face Forward Foundation, who has never worked with Kendall, previously spoke to Life and Style about how the model's nose has changed. So the person says, the lower lateral cartilage outline in the tip can be seen clearly and appears to have been reduced. The nasal bridge appears to be smaller. The certified plastic surgeon shared, this is more than one would expect with just makeup and smiling. And this is something that I wanted to touch upon very briefly because um, I know there is something called the power of makeup and I truly do believe makeup can be a game changer for someone's appearance. It can really minimize certain features and also elongate certain features depending on where you place products. That's for sure. But I also feel like we are fooling ourselves if we truly do believe everything is just down to the power of contour. The Vogue cover girl addressed plastic surgery speculations in 2017 after she was spotted sporting a plumper plout on Instagram, which became a major topic of conversation. She said, all of a sudden, photos of us come out with headlines like, oh my God, Kendall got her lips done and got facial reconstruction. Look at her cheekbones, look at her nose. I was like, this is crazy, Kendall explained on her app. She said, I didn't even address it at the time because if I address it, people are gonna be like, oh, so she's defending herself. She must be guilty. I do want to give people the benefit of the doubt. I think as human beings, we should try and do that a little bit more. I think I'm trying to do that a lot, a lot more than I probably would have uh, done a couple of years ago just to be completely honest with you guys now i do feel like no matter what certain people say and do people have already made their minds up about them which is kind of sad you can have a bad day we all have bad days and to say that celebrities can't have bad days is absolutely mad to me i even saw this clip on tiktok which i just feel like maybe may have been taken out of context but i just need to, like i don't know if you guys saw it yourselves i just feel like it's really weird because kendall was going somewhere there's a bunch of paparazzi what's new right and then there was like this really tiny kid who was so cute and clearly like loved kendall <laughs> and i think she'd asked him or her like what's their name and then while she asked them she just walked away and it's just like what maybe she was being told to come in quickly 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 so she had to move but it didn't look like that in the clip anyway it's just a few seconds but i don't know i found that to be i found that 
personally to be a little bit weird but yeah contour makes the biggest difference guys i'm still not feeling my skin I'm really not anyways it's okay <laughs> It's okay. She also argued since she was already a working model, getting surgery wouldn't exactly benefit her. As a model, why would I have my face reconstructed? Kendall added. It doesn't even make sense. She said it's crazy because sometimes I feel like people just want me to lose. So that was all said back in 2017. I feel if she was to talk about surgery and cosmetic work, I feel if she was to say all of what she said back in 2017 now, people would just clock onto the fact that she is completely delusional and she has lost her mind because you can evidently see the procedures that she's gotten done whether it be the nose whether it be the lips whether it be her boobs whatever it is i simply do not care i think most people don't care for what work people have gotten done but it's when someone is denying and remains delusional it's when it becomes the problem at least for me she looks good before and she looks good now i feel like sometimes in her recent photos it looks like she's a lot older than her age but you know what it could have been worse. I think you can still clearly tell it's Kendall. Kendall also stating that it wouldn't make sense for her to get work done because she's a working model doesn't really make sense to me because in 2022, you are a working model. Despite what we see on those runways, no shade. You are a working model <laughs> and you look different like you clearly have gotten work done so i don't really know what her point was but i don't know maybe one of you guys can try and fill me and maybe i'm not reading in between the lines of this one help me out because i'm struggling <laughs> i feel so cool Let's go ahead and talk about Kendall Jenner's skincare journey. So Kendall has been very vocal about the fact that she had acne once upon a time and it ruined her self-confidence and she had to actively work to get her skin back to being the way that she once knew it to be. And that is something that is definitely relatable. A lot of people struggle with acne and it ruins a lot of people's confidence, that's for sure. But the thing is, Kendall wasn't very vocal about the product that really saved her skin. She said it was down to proactive. How many of you guys actually believe it? No. Proactive. Paid her a very big bag a lot of money to come out and say this and that worked in their favor because they definitely gained new customers what i imagine is really saving kendall jenner's skin is a dermatologist somebody who specializes in skin and somebody who probably has the face face-to-face -to -face appointments with kendall ever so often and can treat her and give her the potion that she needs for her skin that's what most celebrities do when you have the access and when you have the chicoin and i just wish kendall was upfront about it rather than just in my opinion, selling herself just for a bag. It makes no sense. And you know how gullible and vulnerable young people are, especially when people have acne, people want to go to something that they feel is going to work for them. If they see Kendall advertising something, hey, I'm about to check it out too. I've said this and I will say it again, I don't trust celebrities when it comes to skincare collections. I might be a fan of your music, I might be a fan of your acting, modeling, whatever it is. But when it comes to skincare babes, best not do it i best not do it because i'm gonna end up looking like a mess or i'm just gonna i would have wasted my money so this is back in 2019 kendall jenner has been blasting on social media after fans were left unconvinced she uses the acne products she's been promoting the supermodel came under fire early this week after her raw and personal announcement turned out to be an advert for proactive acne cream naming her the face of the skincare brand however things took an even worse turn for the reality star when fans dug up old interviews in which members of the kardashian jennifer family speak about how their go-to dermatologist has helped the model with her skin fans uncovered a 2015 interview in which jenna's younger sister kylie told how the family dermatologist christy kidd had cured her sister's acne speaking to the new york times she said we have a family dermatologist christy kidd in beverly hills my sister kendall has really bad acne when she was younger and she really cleared it up i thought well if she cured, if she cured kendall i should start to visit her so it's like girl which one is it most importantly, why you always lying? Why you always lying? Mm -mm, Stop lying. Thank you. Let's check out what some people had to say. So Emma Bamsey from Australia says, not for one second do I believe that Kendall Jenner actually uses Proactive. She's a multi-millionaire. She would have seen a dermatologist who prescribed her acne med medication point blank. I have acne and I know full well you've got to treat 
from the inside in ew al mcfly says the thing that makes me angry about the kendall plus proactive thing is that even me a normal person has spent thousands of dollars only counting 2018 to treat my acne over the counter does not work stop pretending like it does save your money and visit a dermatologist Another commented, Kendall spends thousands on fancy dermatologists, frequently has bougie ass facials, laser light treatments, has extensive skincare routine with luxurious products, drinks eight gallons of water a day. Also, Kendall, Proactive literally saved my life. Oh my God. <laughs> Another thing that annoys me about Kendall Jenner, yeah? I'm sorry that if I'm going all over the place in this video, I'm gonna try my best to kind of link it all together. But another thing that annoys me is like, the pick me like she's definitely a pick me show i'm not like other girls like girl you okay you thought you were not like other the other girls but you kind of are <laughs> i didn't really like the name kendall until i turned like 16 and then i realized it was very unique and i liked how unique it was i can't yes! sing either I'm unique! Woo! like you're super into makeup and i'm obviously not as into makeup as you like i felt like you were bonding more with kylie because she's really? like into makeup and stuff and I'm totally not. You know, everyone around me, whether it's friends or family, knows how hard I worked and still work. And I did everything that I was supposed to do and had to do to get to the position that I'm at now. But that almost made my job a little bit harder. I took my last name off of my name on like all my modeling cards so that I was taken completely seriously. Okay, now this might be the dumbest thing I've heard in a very long time. What do you mean you removed your last name from your modeling cards? Girl, they still know your face. They still know your Kylie sister. They still know you come from a privileged house. Like, what did you think that was going to do? I laughed at this when I first researched and came across this clip. And I'm still laughing to this day because it's like, girl, you thought you did something with that point, but you didn't. Like, she's not dumb. There's no... I, I, I choose to strongly believe that she's not dumb. Definitely worked my way to where I am now. Um, I'm a weirdo. I feel like I definitely kind of have a mom bag. Like, I feel like I don't have like unnecessary things. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm pretty practical. My selenite crystal, I hope I'm saying that right. It protects you from negative energy and brings you loving energy. I love having my crystal on me. I don't know how you guys do those nails and don't like poke an eye out. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> like, you can't do that. Ayo, hey, guys, this is my favorite clip that exists of Kendall Jenner. My favorite part of my body is my height. I was a tomboy for a couple years. So those years, I think I was more into sports and being a tomboy. I'm weird. I love my tits being out. <laughs> it's like one of my things. I didn't have famous people on my wall. I was obsessed with animals. I still am. Like, I'm a nerd. I'm not, like, cool like that. I barely know half the celebrities' names now. In a past life, I think I was an animal. Either a Great Dane or a Lab. Because Great Danes are, like, they have long legs and they're big and I'm big and I have long legs and they're awkward. When I was younger, and I'm sure you guys can all attest to this, I was, like, a huge tomboy. Like, couldn't really care less about fashion. Love mixing. Feels amazing on my skin. <laughs> Friends and I come in here, sometimes we'll throw on basketball on the screen, drink some wine, and like just paint or color. Last season on The Kardashians, Alison Rae for some reason was on the show. Don't ask me why, what she was doing there. Baby, I couldn't tell you that. And then there was a scene where like they were all having dinner together, everyone was there. And then like Kendall was doing everything she possibly could to make Alison feel awkward. And it's like, who does that? Like even I'm not like this fan of Alison Rae, like, but one thing I will not do is have someone come over for dinner and make them feel awkward for being there. Girl, if you don't want to be there, if you don't like Addison Rae, then like get up and go. Like you're not even on a lot of episodes on the show, so just do what you do best, which is just like be booked and busy, allegedly. Addison Rae was at the Met Gala and people felt like Kendall Jenner and Hailey Bieber were making, well, mainly Kendall was making fun of Addison's pose. What do you guys think? <laughs> Maybe she just isn't a fan of Addison Rae's cringy dancing on TikTok. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. You don't have to like her, but from the time you know the cameras are rolling, at least try, you know, put on a convincing performance. But Kendall's also expressed in like the latest episodes that she, you know, she loves being a model, but she wants to be a businesswoman now. Like she wants to continue pursuing her alcohol business. 818, right? Is 818, is 818 nice? A few of you guys are telling me, Keisha, girl, the tequila ate tequila. Guys, this spot can't be tamed. You should go to hell and everyone went back. I wanna fly, I wanna, I wanna go. I wanna be a part 
something i don't know these spots want to be a part of my face so bad it's like a bit jump you're not even paying rent maybe this is genuinely it also i forgot to show you guys my nails i kind of hate them they look like tablets that you take and swallow and digest and pray to get better <laughs> Who's also looking into real estate, which I think is absolutely great. I love that. No shade, no disrespect, but how are you white? You have white privilege and you're doing nothing with the privileges. I just clocked, I'm not wearing earrings and I feel so empty without earrings. I feel like I look like a man. Bitch, even if I was a man, I could still take your bitch. I'm kidding. I'm not. I don't know where all these little fluffy hairs are coming from. I don't have a cat. You would think that there's a cat living in this house with all the fluff and hairs everywhere. And it's like, girl, it's probably just synthetic hair for my braids. <laughs> It's getting stuck everywhere. This is the look. I really like it. I think it matches to the outfit that I'm wearing. I'm gonna pop on some earrings, take some Instagram pictures. Bitch, you better make sure you double tap that picture, okay? Because not only am I sent out here spilling some tea with you guys, but I'm also glamming to go absolutely nowhere. And you know, girl, I look good. I should probably try eyeshadow a lot more. <laughs> if there's one thing to get from this video, definitely get these puff things. If you type up makeup puff on Amazon, you can get six for like, let me not lie, I'm not sure how much it is. Just thank me later. This just does the goddamn thing. Oh, and I forgot to do highlight. No wonder something felt a bit empty. Guys, my highlight or palette broke. I was getting ready yesterday to go out. A palette broke. And I was just thinking, okay, we're gonna make this work. I'm not about to waste product. So I had to open it in a very, this is the Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Shimmer Brick Sublime. This is one of the best makeup products i own it's super duper affordable anything makeup revolution is affordable i wish it was sponsored but do you know what this is not a makeup channel bitch they're not looking in my direction but if they were ever hi <laughs> it didn't always look like this it didn't it didn't always look like this every little helps at this point so i'm gonna go and take this brush right here what is this brush apparently it has no name but let's pretend it's morphe it's a morphe 1122 mind your business brush i'm gonna dip into any color that looks like it's a bit of me. I'm gonna go for the champagne color. Oh God. You should be very scared of me because I went from being hella insecure to start this video to now wanting to take your man. It's actually disrespectful at this point. Those are just a few examples though. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Um, shout out to Kendall Jenner though. She's a tomboy who doesn't like makeup. She is different from her sisters. She has no kids compared to her sisters, you know? She, mm. I wish she had the best anyways, regardless. I hope that she finds success in everything that she does. She probably will because she's Kendall Flip and Jenna. Pretend I have earrings. <laughs> you guys are currently leaning on my jewelry box and I'm not about to go and dip in there and mess up to, pretend I have earrings on. Pretend they're like some silver cute ass hoops that I probably will put on those hoops though in my Instagram picture, so yes are you guys feeling today's look are you guys feeling the hair we have a cute ass like full brown black hair moment bitch i did this all by myself like i'm sorry but the talent jumped out who do you know that can do her own braids and have this much patience i'll wait <laughs> i saw your potential and i see credentials that's probably the realest thing that a lady's ever said no actually i can be needy i've been your host is keisha and i'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video bye